All right, hey guys, welcome to Johnny Nerd Out, video channel all about e-bikes. Um, I got a great question that was asked to me on one of my Ask Me Anything live video streams that I did. I'll try to give you credit in the description below, but the question was, why is there such a price disparity between batteries? Especially like between like the same capacity. Why is, how can you have one battery that's 300 bucks and one that's 600 bucks? Well, let's get down to it. All right, so if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I custom build e-bikes, um, high-powered ones. I do consultations. I do help if you're building your own bike and you're running into issues and you're like, what the hell is this? I've probably come across that issue and I could probably help you out. If you want components for your own e-bike build, if you need help for your build, go to johnnynerdout.com. I get asked this all the time. It's like, well, I found this battery on Amazon. It's a 52 volt, 13 amp hour for 299 bucks. I'm gonna go with that one because I saw this other seller, even you, have the same capacity for 500 bucks. So I'm gonna save 200 bucks and go with this one. And the question is like, why is that? Number one, there's two, first of all, there's two different reasons why a battery pack has different pricing. One is the quality of the cells that are in there. And two is the quality of the pack being made. How was the pack made? So the first point is the quality of the cells. You could get cheap, generic Chinese cells for probably a little under $2 a cell. And the very high quality cells can run up to $7 a cell. You know, if you got something like a Samsung 30Q or something with very high tolerances for discharging and you know extreme performance, it's gonna cost you a lot more. And that range between $2 and $7, spread over 70 cells in a big battery pack like that, that's seventy. That's three hundred fifty dollars of difference. So if somebody is telling you that they're, you know, they have really high quality cells, but they're only charging you three hundred bucks for it, do the math. Figure out how many battery cells are in it, which is rated on how many in series and how many in, are in parallel. You just times those two. That'll give you your battery cell count. Divide it. Divide the cost by that. If it's two or three dollars, there, and, and that's not even including the production of it. You wanna pay a high quality skilled worker to assemble these and using good quality parts, like good quality BMS board, good quality soldering. All those things are what's gonna keep your battery from exploding, shorting, blah, blah, blah. We call those house burners. So when you buy a $300 battery pack on Amazon, it's probably because it's made with poor quality cells and it's made by a poor quality worker who's not getting paid very well. That's a recipe for disaster setting your house on fire or wherever you keep your batteries. I would allocate at least $200 to building the pack just for paying an adult that's skilled at their job making that pack. And then, you know, a good battery cell should cost about $4 a cell at minimum. So if you got one that's, you know, 14 by five, that's 70 cells. That's a 52 volt pack at like, you know, 17 and a half amp hour, somewhere around there, 14 to 17 amp hour. That's 70 cells. At four times 70, that's 280 bucks, just in the cells, depending on the quality. That might be a little bit more. It might be 350 bucks just for the cells. Now I would add uh, at least 200 bucks onto that. So your battery should cost at least 450. And that's not including shipping, all overheads or anything. That's just 450 that that battery pack should cost for a good quality one. Now, if you wanna buy one that you know is generic, cause you're like, I just wanna get a cheap one, that's fine. You just don't wanna pay for something that says, hey, these are premium cells. If you know that it's costing $300 and they're saying that it's got premium cells in it for a high capacity battery pack like that, they're lying to you. And that's the problem too, is if you buy things on even Amazon, there's no regulation on there. I, I strongly recommend people not buy their e-bike components off of Amazon because there's no regulation. I know that Amazon supposedly is like, a, oh, I trust that, but it's, it's just like eBay. It's like you gotta trust the seller that's selling on eBay. eBay may help protect you, but do you wanna go through that long process of returns, fighting with the seller, trying to make it right, uh, and then get a percentage of, the, of your money back after, you know, I don't know. So that's why I always say buy it from a reputable e-bike seller that buys good quality packs. You don't have to buy from me, but I do buy from good quality suppliers. There's a few different quality 
supply, suppliers that I buy from. And as well as every other e-bike major manufacturer brand out there, e reseller, they also buy good things. So if you don't wanna support me, support the other guys at least. And if it's too good to be true price-wise, it probably is. Don't burn your house down. All right, hopefully that helped guys. Hopefully that wasn't like all over the place. I know sometimes that can be my brain just like, I'm trying to describe what I'm seeing in my head. And so hopefully that made sense for you. Um, if you have any other further questions, um, you could, I got a forum on my website. You could ask questions there. And I got thousands of members there that love to help people out. So yeah, go to johnnynerdow.com if you got further questions. Thanks guys.